What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are back on the crown and like I promised in one of my previous videos, when I fix the headlights on the Supra, I'm gonna do the same to the crown. Now, exactly the same process, but I did tell you guys, for some of you crown lovers out there, that I'll do the same on the crown, just so you can see the before and afters, and you can see what to do when your paint is in good condition, because on the Supra, I didn't uh, put any drop sheets down, I didn't do anything like that. I did mask off a little bit of it, but I'll show you what to do, because the paint on the crown is really, really good, so I'm gonna protect it all while I do it. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see at the moment, guys, uh, how kind of average it is. Uh, but if I get nice and close, you can see all that kind of marking on it. I don't like that. I want to get it all off, get it nice and polished up, and it's literally across the whole thing. So because it's not in crazy bad condition, uh, I'm going to, again, just use 2000 grit wet and dry and sand all that back, get it all nice and evenly clouded, and then get some compound, polish it, do it again and like on both. So to be wet and dry on both, compound on both times two, polish on both times one, and then I'm gonna do the wax again like I did on the super ones. So let's do it. So once you got your headlights taped off, you're gonna go and put a drop sheet over the whole thing and then just cut a line across each headlight and then kind of pull it to the um, masking tape and mask it off onto the masking tape. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, and that's what I mean. So now the whole car's covered. Try and get good quality uh, masking tape. This one isn't the greatest I'm finding and it's not liking sticking to itself. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. So yeah, that's what I mean. So you can mask them up, put a drop sheet over the whole car and the car's covered. It's just really for the little like spray offs of the compound and the polish and all the dripping of the, um, the wet and dry kind of water ri residual rubbish. Uh, so yeah. Now, we're gonna jump in to the sanding. So they're ready for the first compound pass. That's just 2000 grit, wet and dry, bit of water, and a bit of elbow grease. Get them nice and cloudy. Now be aware, some of the masking tape will come up. If you're putting water on masking tape, it's probably gonna peel up a little bit, but you're trying to avoid as much as you can getting compound and dirty water all over the car. But you can always wash it afterwards. Most important bit is the compound, but let's jump into the compound pass. As you can see, that's just one pass of the compound. So now I'm gonna go over and do it again. Get out any final, like tiny little scratches that I can see, and then I'll polish it, and then wax it. Okay, so that's the second pass with the compound. I'm gonna go and get a cloth, wipe them down, make sure I'm really happy with all of that, and then I'm gonna do a polish, and wax. 
Okay, so I'm not perfectly happy with that, so I'm gonna go another pass, just in the kind of main section, but I can still see some slight scratches. So I'm gonna do a third compound pass. All right, and now it's time for the polish. So I'm actually gonna do it with the wool one, do a little bit of a fluff up, and uh, see how she turns out. All right, and there it is, guys. So just did that final polish and that wax, and I am wrapped how they've come out. They've come out like new. Um, I mean, just for, what is it? One, two, four stage, little setup. Absolutely wrapped. Took me maybe an hour, hour max. So I'll bring you over and I'll show you a bit of a close up. So as you can see, it's like glass now. All those little marks are gone over here. Oof, all those little marks are gone loving life so that's that guys i know i just did that on the supra but i also know there's a lot of you out there that love crowns and i love a good before and after so that's why i jumped into it uh, if you've liked the video give it a like give me a sub uh, share it around with your friends and uh, i hope this has helped some of you it's, it's a quick and easy job and yeah really really satisfying to get that all sorted out yourself and have those lights looking fresh a fresh set of lights on a car makes it look brand new all right guys well that's done, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.